Whether you've been in framing for a long time or you're just doing a DIY project, one of the most intimidating aspects of roof construction is actually getting the numbers down on paper and being confident in what you have. Now, it doesn't have to be intimidating, but using this model, we're going to give you the tools that you need to be confident with your build every single time. Come on in, we're gonna get into it. All right, so to get things started, we're going to be teaching you how to calculate your principal rafters. Everything else is going to be based on that. Your ridge is gonna be connected, your hips, your common rafters, all that stuff is gonna be based on those initial calculations that you have with your principal rafters. And so it's a great place to start, but as you can see, we've got a lot of stuff in the way. And uh, yeah, let's make it go away. That's better. Now. To start off with, I want to go over what exactly are we trying to find with our calculation. The length of your rafter, and I'm going to repeat it a few times in this so you know the terminology, the length is going to be from the peak of your rafter down to the beginning of your tail. So to get rid of any confusion you might have, we're going to go ahead and remove this tail and you kind of get an idea of what we're trying to find because this flushes up with the outside of your wall. So again, the peak to the beginning of your tail. In order for you to calculate your principal rafter, we're gonna need two pieces of information. First, you're gonna need to know what your run is. Then, you're gonna need to know what your rise is. With just those two pieces of information, you have everything you need. So, let's go ahead and show you how to find your run. First thing you need to do is measure from the outside of your wall to the outside of your wall. Once you get that measurement, which in this case is 36, we cut that measurement in half. So 18. So 18 is our run. Pretty simple, right? The next thing you're gonna need to know is your rise. So in order to find out that, you're gonna need your pitch. Now I know what you're asking yourself, where do I find my pitch? Well, they should be on the plans for your house or your shed or whatever it is that you're building. Your designer or your engineer will have written that down somewhere on the print. Now, the pitch of the Rafter Master 3000 is six, so we have what we need in order to find our rise. Now for the calculation. I'm gonna throw some maths at you, but we're gonna show them on the screen so you get a good idea of exactly what we're talking about. So, in order to find your rise with your pitch, you simply take your run, which we remember is 18 so we divide 18 by 12 now this is the same no matter how big your room is so go ahead and divide whatever your run is by 12 in this case we get 1.5 when we divide that up now we simply multiply our pitch by the number we just got so 6 times 1.5 equals 9 and now we have our rise we have everything we need in order to calculate this rafter. In order to find that, I'm going to take you back in time to your high school math class. Or forward in time to your high school math class, depending on how old you are, where they taught you how to calculate a right triangle. It is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Now, the way you're going to hear that in this context is rise squared plus run squared equals the length of your principal rafter squared. Now, you simply find the square root of that number and you have the absolute length of your principal rafter. You've just calculated your first rafter. Do that a couple more times and I think it's just gonna come natural. Now, I hope we broke that down for you in a way that makes it just a little less intimidating. And honestly, if you practice it a few times, you're really going to get the hang of it. And watching a roof come together after you crunched all the numbers and calculated it, oh, it feels good every time. It feels like magic the first time. And even after I've been doing this for 20 years, when we calculated this entire roof and everything just fit together, oh, it felt so good. You know, we're glad that you joined us here at J&K Carpentry. And if you like this video and you want to learn more, because there is more to learn, make sure you like and subscribe. Let's make knowledge common again.